Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. In this video, I'll be testing the performance of the iPhone 12 Pro Max and with a new game called Punishing Grey Raven. As you can see, I do have iOS 14.7 beta version installed and I'm quite positive iOS 14.7 will officially release next week. Definitely stay tuned for my performance review video. With that being said, as many of you all know, I'll be testing the usual FPS, GPU usage, power consumption, and device temperature. Definitely check out the end of this video to see these conclusive results. Last, I've also included a real-time FPS overlay during gameplay for those curious and wanting to track FPS results. Thanks again for watching and see you at the end of this video.
In conclusion, as I suspected, the iPhone 12 Pro Max averaged 59.3 frames per second. This device can definitely manage a steady 60 frames. However, as you will soon see, based on game coding, optimization, and design low power consumption, I'm getting 59 frames per second no matter how long I test. Due to end game matches or levels being limited to 3 to 4 minutes, I'm unable to test for longer without accidentally recording FPS drops that will occur during loading screens or menu changes. However, based on additional testing, even after one hour of playing, I still averaged around 59.3 frames per second when playing. Nevertheless, moving on to GPU, this is where I'm quite surprised. I did not expect this game to use this much of the A14 Bionics GPU. However, unlike Genshin Impact, GPU usage seems to stabilize around 87% and doesn't really pick up to the 90s even after playing for long periods. Moving on to power consumption, this device used about 3 watts of power, which is quite low but also feels about right. While playing, this device doesn't really heat up nor does this game excessively drain the battery. The phone stays relatively cool and therefore, when we look at the battery temperature, we can see an average of 28.2 Celsius. The iPhone definitely doesn't get hot when playing this game. The highest the iPhone peaked in thermals was 30 Celsius. With all of this being said, I hope this information was useful for those curious about the iPhone 12 Pro Max's performance with the newly released game, Punishing Grey Raven. Definitely stay tuned for my iOS 14.7 performance review video for those looking to upgrade next week. Also, I do have some more free giveaways coming soon, so definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with these details. Please stay safe and see you next time.